Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how exactly you can create a super custom AI stickers for your Redbubble or the public store or any other print-on-demand website uh, you are currently using. So basically we're gonna combine uh, in this video two things and first is niche research. We're gonna do a really quick niche research for Redbubble um, first to find some like a good phrase and then we're gonna based on that phrase create an awesome AI generated art and put everything together in Canva, which is going to be then ready for upload. So yeah, without further ado, first of all, I want to show you how you can very easily find the niche. You just need to go onto the website Redbubble Popular Tags and here you have like a 10,000 most trending keywords on Redbubble. The list is updated every Monday. As you can see, I'm recording this video on 6th of May and it was uploaded on the 1st of May 2023. Uh, so what can we see like a very quickly very quick explanation four columns popularity popularity change results and results change uh, basically popularity is how well ranked a design is the higher the popularity it means like the more um, famous design you are dealing with and popularity change basically means how recently this design changed its popularity so um, if the design was for example ranked close to a 10,000 10, place um, but right now it is ranked for like as you can see a thousand five hundred so it means it got more popular after like a very quick uh, research I found super cool niche I'm just gonna show you um, sorry I can't my cut needs me very simple niche not so many results I mean it has some results but it's still quite all right I basically recommend people to find niches below 500 results but this one has like 700 also uh, will do after finding a niche we just need to check if it is copyrighted or not so you're gonna copy the phrase so this is our second step first is to find a cool niche with a good popularity using Redbubble popular tags check if it has like not so many results ideally it would be below 500 and the third step is to actually check if it is trademarked we're gonna copy the phrase and use the website TM hand this is a very simple website it's completely free I'm gonna leave um, obviously the link down in the description as always uh, we're just gonna copy this phrase and please make sure you have the split search tab selected as multi search and wildcard search won't work the same way now we just need to click on search and here we have it we can change uh, the results per page to 100 and as you can see you have like a multiple single word trademarks which you don't need to worry about as for example you can trademark something like as cat or um, the letter i uh, we still can use it on our design like don't worry about it if the my cat would be a trademark then it's a different story but as you can see here it got like a dead status here so um, nothing to be worried about so I'm gonna just like quickly go through all of these keywords and as you can see on the first page there is nothing and I should take into my consideration like the second page is same only uh, some like single words and letter I yeah nothing to be worried about we can use this niche all right so if we have this niche right now the third thing is just to create a simple design uh, in it and how you can do it I'm gonna be using a mid journey mid journey is a very well developed AI generator AI graphics generator uh, which works much more better than the other AI so for example if you remember I also done a video about DALI uh, which is produced by OpenAI and it worked much much worse than Midjourney. Midjourney right now creates like a sick graphics and let me prove it to you. We're gonna move into the Discord server um, obviously after subscribing to Midjourney or actually you have some free credits at the beginning but then I recommend just buying even like the cheapest plan which costs 10 bucks a month. This is not a lot of money for the results you will get and here we are with on the on my private server with a mid journey bot what can we do right now so basically we need a cut design and i just want it to be like a sticker type so like a very cute um maybe not animated but like um 
very sweet and detailed drawing of a cat in the sticker type and obviously we want it on the white background why we need um, like a plain background so it would be much easier to like um, cut it out because if you don't know on mid journey you just cannot create you still cannot maybe it's gonna be updated someday you still cannot generate images with a transparent background so that's a bit of a shame but uh, but don't worry about it we can take care of it later so I'm gonna type imagine as this is the command you start every like image generation with then you have this prompt box where you just need to describe what you want to create and what I want to create is simply like um, cute little um, cat drawing in a sticker type maybe something like that we can even add a dash dash q space 2 which is going to provide us with the higher quality so we have so we have like a cute little cat drawing um, in a sticker type maybe we just did this let's put like that and also mention that we need it on a white background yeah and let me just click on enter and as you can see a mid journey is gonna take your request and you will have to wait some time for it to be generated so yeah here we are after a quick break after like maybe a minute maybe even like less than a minute of work mid journey gave us the four results and here is the part where you just need to choose which of these you want to upscale uh, so I, re I really like the third one um, let me just click on U3 which means upscale the third design and now it's just gonna take a second to upscale it and yeah here you have it so right now what you want to do is click on this design and then under the image you have the option to open in browser we're just gonna open it in browser and download it onto our computer now after like downloading the image to your computer you just need to notice that it still has a white background which um, basically it's not gonna look good on a t-shirt we want to remove the background and upload it on the redbubble or tpublic with a transparent one so uh, what i recommend using like any kind of online background remover i chose actually this random website iris bg um i don't know even what is this usually i do this in photoshop but just to show you you can do it completely for free uh, it's easy just type some i don't know uh, background remover free online version something like that and it's really easy to remove background nowadays uh, right now we can download the original size and upload it into canva so yeah we have our design uploaded we're gonna just make it a bit bigger this is um, the resolution I use here is 5000 by 5000 pixels you can obviously use a higher one uh, yeah so uh, we're just gonna make it a bit bigger and right now what we need to do is we want to also add a text on it uh, I'm just gonna click on text here um, add the text box and pick like any font you like I see not every font is available for me as currently I don't have the uh, pro version of Canva I'm using the free one so um, yeah let me just quickly search for like any kind of font maybe this one yeah this looks good and check what was the quote here sorry I can't my cut needs me very cool all right so you're gonna type sorry I can't my cut needs me yeah uh, let's make it like much bigger than it is and as you can see you already have like a quite nicely uh, looking design right now what you want to do is simply download it unfortunately on a free version of canva you don't have the possibility to generate a transparent background images as you can see if i go to share download and i want to download the png version transparent background is not available for me so what we have to do is you have to download this image with a white background 
and then move it again onto some background remover like for example here uh, just like quickly remove the background and upload it to Redbubble. Yeah guys that is it for today's video. I'm not going to explain the rest of the process like choosing the right tags because I've made so many videos about this and you can easily find it on my channel. I just don't want to repeat myself again and yeah thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video very informative and yeah see you again very very soon. Bye bye.